Wouldn't it be great if money just grew on trees? Well guess what, in Animal Crossing, money absolutely grows on trees. And in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to understand how money trees work and how to rake in up to 30,000 bells a day or possibly even more if you're feeling lucky. So in order to get a money tree, what you're going to need to do is plant a money tree. So each day on your island, you'll see a spot on the ground that's glowing gold. If you dig there, you'll dig up a thousand bells and you'll see a sort of a golden glow in the hole. Uh, simply bury some money and you'll receive back three times your investment in just a few days. To keep track of which tree is the money tree, you can either lay down a pattern nearby to remind yourself, or simply dig up your planted tree and move it somewhere else more convenient for you, maybe keeping all of your bell trees together to have a nice little money tree orchard. Also keep in mind that you only get a single harvest from each money tree, so after that it just becomes a regular old tree, so don't be afraid to chop it down once you've harvested your bells, so you can make room for the next one. Now, there is a bit of a catch to this. Uh, if you put in 10,000 bells, you will always receive a tree with 30,000 bells. I've done this multiple times without fail, so to my knowledge, you will always receive 30,000 bells uh, if you plant 10,000 bells minimum. However, some people have reported putting in the maximum of 99,000 bells, and sometimes they do receive three times their investments for, for a total of 297,000 bells, which is a pretty nice profit. Um, but others have also reported that they've only received 30,000 bells even though they put in way more and they actually ended up losing money. So I did a bit of research, I dug around Reddit, dug around some other people's experiences, and I found out that anything over 10,000 bells puts you at risk of losing money. You may indeed get a huge payoff uh, if you decide to invest 99,000 bells, but you also could possibly lose money and only get 30,000. But you will always, at the minimum, as long as you're putting in more than 10,000 bells, you will always receive at least 30,000. So you have a couple options here. Um, you can either play it safe and put in 10,000 bells a day and guarantee yourself a nice 20,000 bell profit, which would be the maximum guaranteed profit that you can do. Or you can push your luck, put in 99,000 bells and hope that you get almost 300,000 bells back, which would be a nice bit of the payday. Or your last option is you can put in, let's say, 30,000 bells because you'll always receive a minimum of 30,000 bells back. So if you put in 30,000 bells and you get those same 30,000 bells back, you're not going to lose any money, but you might get lucky and find yourself with 90,000 bells back. So about a 60,000 bell profit, which is pretty good. Um, you can also play with the numbers a bit, maybe put in 20,000 bells and get 60,000 back if you get lucky, but you're still guaranteed 10,000 bells if you get the minimum of 30,000. So there's a couple ways you can play it uh, if you want to be safe or risky. Either way, the choice is ultimately up to you. Personally, I am a fan of consistent returns, so I'll be sticking with using 10,000 bells and making a consistent profit each day, which I think if you're playing the game every single day, I think this is the ideal way to go about it, so in the long run you're still going to be seeing a nice return. But I can also see the appeal of starting each day with a bit of a gamble, so however you decide to go about it, I wish you all the best in your money farming. And that's going to do it for this video today, guys. Everything you need to know about money trees. Hopefully you guys found it useful. If you did, please be sure to leave the video a like and leave me a comment down below as well. I'll also be linking to my community Discord in the comment section. We have a few dedicated Animal Crossing uh, channels there for trading items, sharing prices for turnips, and, you know, other general stuff there. And the nice thing is most people are playing the game legitimately, so things aren't super overinflated like you might find in some of the larger Animal Crossing communities. I think I was on the Reddit and I saw that Nook Miles tickets were going for like 500,000 bells, which is a bit ridiculous, but that's kind of a result of all the item duplication and the time traveling, so those bigger communities tend to be a bit inflated. I think our community is a bit nicer, so feel free to go ahead and uh, join that if you'd like. And as always, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more Animal Crossing content, including my daily live streams here on YouTube. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.